Good morning again. Today, we're going to discuss goal setting. We're talking about the whole athletic versus aesthetic approach, but we've got to talk about how you're setting your goals. It's the new year. Did you actually set your goals correctly? The big thing is you want to do something, but the goal that you're going to set needs to be specific. There's no point saying you want to just do the training program to lose weight. The big pitfall there is when you do resistance training, in order to overcome the external resistance that you're training with, be it a barbell, be it a kettlebell, you are going to then be needing to put on muscle mass in order to overcome the resistance because you're trying to train harder to get stronger so that you can train better and get more results. That's going to put some muscle mass on you. Now, we all know that muscle weighs more than fat. The problem is, if you stand on the scale and you weigh X amount, after six weeks of good hard training, you're going to stand on the scale, you may have no deviation in your weight, or it may go up. And there comes the problem where people will then start throwing their hands in the air and quitting and becoming really, really frustrated. Weight loss training, it's about nutrition. You cannot really train to lose weight without correct nutrition. That's as simple as it is. That is why I'm trying to encourage you to train for performance because then your goals are measurable. So if we have a specific goal, like you want to run a 5K or you want to compete in a local CrossFit competition or you want to do well at your next mixed martial arts event, your goal is then specific. The specificity of the goal then allows us to do things to reach that goal. Smaller process steps. Everyone has the goal that you want, but you're here at your starting point. We've got to bridge this gap somehow. And you do that by making specific steps or process goals to get you to your end goal. It is the process of realizing your end goal. So the specific goal can then help us set up those process goals so that they can then help us to take measurable steps towards that goal. So if we cannot run and we then start walk running over a couple of kilometers or miles, we can then really realize that that's gotten better for us. We're running, we're moving freer, we're not as gassed at the end of it. We're not as sore after doing a lifting workout. Our mixed martial arts training is going better. Our jiu-jitsu movements are better. Our kicking is better because of the flexibility training that we're trying to do to reach our end point. So, using running, start with measurable things. I'm going to try and cover one kilometer of distance. Measure the time it took you to do it. The next time you do it, time it again. Did it decrease? And start noticing how you got that improvement in your time. Or if you are a martial artist and you want to kick better, you probably need to work on your flexibility because then your body is freer to move. So can you integrate flexibility into your life? These goals are not about big, huge sweeping changes. We're talking about sustainability, something that fits in with your life. You have your schedule, you have your family. What can you do to make your life better? From a flexibility point of view, even one minute a day is more than you were previously doing. So let's start getting away from the mindset that we have to make these big, solid changes and just start with small things that we can integrate into our lives. Because then it's measurable. Instead of getting on the scale, looking, getting disappointed, looking, getting disappointed, rather, am I running one kilometer better? Yes, I am. It's a positive step. It's going to allow you to continue going. That's the only way you're going to realize that dream goal of yourself. What we've got to look at is an interesting little thing I encountered when I was doing psychology at university, a term called self-efficacy. This is what's going to help you set your goals. Self-efficacy is your personal belief in yourself 
that you can get a certain thing done. That's why people choose the, the events that they do. Some people would look at CrossFit and go, there is absolutely no way I feel comfortable doing that and I can do that. Some people will look at Olympic lifting. Mixed martial arts looks too violent for some people. Running looks too hard for some people because they struggle with walking, cycling or swimming. You have to have that belief that you can do it. That belief alone is not going to make you better at it. That belief is going to make you work at your chosen task so that you have the courage to start it and to see it through so that you can improve. And improvement is relative, you've got to remember that. It's not suddenly you were nothing and now you're an Olympic medalist. Improvement is you were doing nothing, you are now better. And better is relative. And I want to leave you with that thought for today. Thanks so much. Goodbye.